In this segment of It's Scary to Remarry, I am going to discuss what to do when trust is broken and phone check, homie. Do I have a passcode to your phone? What's up, Brave Arts community? This is Sean Heineman here with another segment of It's Scary to Remarry, wanting you to love fearlessly. And I have a couple of different topics that I want to address today, but I think they all go together um, as I address these three different topics. Now, first of all, let's talk about the, the phone, okay? Because the question was asked, can uh, we have passcodes on our phones? Can we, as far as being in a relationship, can our phones have uh, passcodes on them? But the question to that is, do they have the actual passcode to get in your phone? That's the thing. Now, a lot of this comes with trust. Um, I would just use this as an example for uh, my wife and I. We both have passcodes on our phone, but we both have access to those uh, passwords, right? So that my wife can easily get into my phone anytime she wants and vice versa. So that, and that comes with trust. Um, the biggest thing to me is what are you, I guess the question is, what are you looking for when you go through your significant other's phone or possibly your spouse phone? Now, me personally, I'm not a big fan of it. I'm not a fan of going through my wife's phone or anyone's phone for that matter because uh, <laughs> mama said, if you're looking for something, you will find it. So for me, I feel like trust is, is everything. And once you misplace that trust, because say, example, you find out that your significant other or your spouse is going through your phone, but they, they haven't told you about it, but you you know somehow you found out. How would that make you feel? You know, all of a sudden you start to feel like, oh, so you don't trust me. So you're going through my phone, you know, so you really have to be careful with those things. And then you also have to have a conversation with uh, that person considering saying, you know, I might go through your phone, you know, um, and having that conversation. And then that way, y'all know everything is on the table. And you know that at any given time they can go through your phone. So, you know, you better... <laughs> watch what you're uh, talking about in those DMs. And I want to talk about this as well as far as with uh, when trust is broken, because say something does happen and, you know, your significant other, they go through your phone or your spouse, they go through your phone and they find that there's been something going on that you've actually been talking to somebody else or flirting with somebody else on social media. Um, when that kind of trust is broken, here are some things that you can do to try to get that trust back. Now, realize that it's going to take time to get that person's trust back. You can't just be mad at them because it's been three days and you haven't hit anybody up on a DM and you're like, oh, why are you still bringing up old stuff? You have to give that person time to heal. And what that healing process looked like, who knows? I don't know. Maybe you go to therapy Maybe you read some books on trust, you know, different things to help maybe kind of expedite that process as far as trust goes. But once you break it, it's hard to get back. But you can learn how to, to trust again. My biggest thing would be uh, give that, that person that time to allow them to trust you again. Don't keep bringing up the past, right? You have to keep moving on. And I know it's going to take time, but don't keep bringing it up. If you're going to trust this person again, you know, don't, if you find out that he was driving a red car and y'all see a red car driving down the street and you're like, oh, well, was that her? Or, oh, was that him in that red car? You know, like you can't keep bringing those things up. You can't keep scratching that old, that old wound. Now, the one who was the offender in the process, you have to make sure that no matter where you're going, what you're doing, uh, if you're doing something on social media, if you're going somewhere, even if they want your um, your GPS system on, where they want to know where you at all the time, like you have to be okay with letting them uh, have that kind of access to you because you broke the trust. 
And trust is is very fragile because once you lose it, it's hard to recover that, especially when you <laughs> with the same person, uh, because those things can keep playing in your head over and over again. But you have to make sure that you let whoever you with, um, your spouse or your significant other, let them know this is where I'm going and you be there. Um, if they want to go through your phone, let them go through your phone just to give them that peace of mind to you can rebuild that trust again. So um, my biggest thing is just try not to get caught up in, in foolishness where you lose that trust with that person, because it's a beautiful thing when you have someone that trusts you there's freedom in that, right? They don't have to go through your phone all the time or they don't always have to worry about where you at. And if you said you're going to be here, you know, you better be be there. Or if not, then all of a sudden they get nervous again about that trust. You know, they're like, oh, you're not, you know, you're not there. If you have a flat tire and you said you're going to be home at 11 o'clock, you better find out some way to be home at 11 o'clock because you can easily, uh, because that trust was broken, um, it can be any scenario that causes that person to tense up again and not to trust you anymore. Now, statistically, as I was looking at a, a blog in Huffington Post, they said one in four women check their partner's phone and one in five men check their partner's phone. And this was taken in 2014. So with this video today, I'm sure that those numbers has probably uh, risen with, you know, the way people um, hook up with folks in the, in the DM today. Um, also, as I finish this video, I want to talk about because if you are, if you are someone who's messing around, you're sliding in the DMs, you're talking to other women, you're talking to other guys, and you're in a relationship or whatever, just realize this, especially if you are, um, uh, a, a YouTuber or you're a personality or you're a coach or whatever, there's a certain amount of power that you have that people are attracted to you and you have to tread very lightly when it comes to this stuff. Like if you're not going to operate in integrity, don't do this stuff because you will be misleading people um, because people will put you on a pedestal. People will think that you aren't broken, that, you know, you're perfect and you're flawless and we are all broken. We all deal with certain things, but if you're doing uh, this kind of stuff with coaching and, and, and stuff like that, be careful. Don't be quick to, you know, just cause she was attractive or she was cute and you know, you slide in a DM, you trying to be nice to her and you stand up with her all night, you know, texting each other and all this other stuff. That's, that's not cool because you have to let your spouse or your significant other know what's going on and what you're doing. Because even with my videos and even when I'm on interviews, I always let my wife know this is who I'm talking to. I'm going to be on this interview, this podcast, and I will let her know. And I even let her see the direct messages and how we connected and things of that nature just to give her uh, that trust with me. So if you are out here doing stuff that you shouldn't be you you know messing around with other females or other men and you in a committed relationship please stop because realize it's going to catch up with you in this day and age look people are waiting to put you on blast people can't wait to put you on blast right i can't tell you of how many times i've seen on facebook or on any other social media platform where people, they, they will put you on blast. They will screenshot that direct message and they will post it online. Uh, they'll tag you, all kind of stuff. Like a lot of people are looking forward to you to, to failing um, or call you out, if you will. So just know that in this day and age, I guess I'm telling my age, when we did stuff back in the day, uh, it was hard for, for you to catch us because we didn't have social media, social media. You had to take a picture or something. You had to catch us in the ad. I don't know, something. But in this day and age, everybody's taking screenshots and making sure that they have, you know, this rabbit trail of direct messages or videos and all this other stuff. So I would just say be careful. It's better to not even do it at all, right? It's better to just operate in integrity and be uh, the person that you say that you you are uh on YouTube or whatever you're doing. If you say you're a upstanding man or upstanding woman, then you be that. Uh, again, I know we're all broken and we all deal with things, but at the same time, 
understand that what comes with this platform um, or even if you have a family, right? Like all these different factors that play into relationships and making sure that you walk in integrity is very important because your kids going to look at you a certain way uh, once they find out that you've been doing some things that you shouldn't have been doing. But anyway, I'm rambling. That's enough. It's just that I'm passionate about these things and I want to see everybody win. And at the end of the day, if you aren't careful, you will get put on blast. Just know that. Uh, Tupac said even the smooth criminal one day will get caught. So if you're a smooth criminal, I would just say stop while you were here. This is Sean Heineman with another segment of It's Scary to Remarry, wanting you to love fearlessly. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Leave a comment below. Tell me what you thought of this video and uh, share this with someone who might need it. This isn't uh, a jab towards anybody. This is just for everybody in general because I want you to be who you are. Uh, if you out here just doing you, then do you and be OK with that. But don't say you're going to operate in integrity or you're going to be committed and then you're doing other stuff on the side. But anyway, uh, take care, people. Thanks for watching the video. Share this with a friend. Talk to you later.